Julio Rodriguez joining us on Ballpark Cam, top prospect for the Seattle Mariners. And there you have it, J Rod Show 44 in the building. Now, Julio, do you have any core workout tips for Uncle Kevin? Because as you heard, his obliques, his his abs, they're they're not where he wants them to be. Uh, so, one that I really like to do is counting. So there's like three different positions that you gotta hold your core. So I feel like do it. That's one of my favorite. Now, I mean, I cannot do it right now, you know, but that's one of my favorite. I can show. I, I can post a video. I can post a video. I have I have one on Twitter, I think, that I can show you on there. Perfect. Okay, so now I'm going to show you a couple pictures, okay? One of these pictures, which is the first one, is the country yeah. singer Kenny Chesney. This was in 2007 or 8. That's Brian Roberts. He looks like you. And then that's me. What happened now? I, I was trying to I, eat my pachuco de pollo, but it's no good. I miss, I'm a... I'm curious to see how that looked right now, honestly. If that was back then, <laughs> I'm curious to see how that looked right now. Okay. Well, I'm going to show you a little bit because now this is why I look that way. This is my dad and me, and I want you to kind of look at this one. <laughs> that might <my> be. <laughs> so I don't uh, have a lot of It's about the same. So. <laughs> it's about the same. Right. <laughs> we got to work. So, uh, all right. So, so Julio. So, yeah, welcome to the big leagues. Also, welcome to Intentional Talk. And yes, we are always this weird. Uh, you're seeing shirtless pictures of Kevin right off the hop. Uh, I yeah. And <laughs> Dad. He's, he's speechless. He's got nothing to say. I mean, what can I say to that? That was a surprise. Uh, another that was moment, a first, honestly, too. Another <laughs> moment you first. were speechless for was when your manager, Scott Service, told you that you had made the opening day roster and the emotion that you showed, yeah. it was awesome. That was just so pure. But what I loved most about this moment between you and Scott was after he sat back down and he said, I have some other things to tell you. And the first one is, don't change how you play. Continue to play with joy and energy. Don't give that up. Now, as a young player, I think it'd be easy for you to just come in and be a little bit more quiet, try and tone things down because the older generation feels like you should do things a, a certain way. But hearing that from your manager, what did that do for your confidence? Uh, it's a lot of encouragement, honestly. Like By him just telling me to be myself, to keep being myself everywhere I go, it's really, it's, it feels really good because they're not trying to change anything that I'm doing. So it feels really cool that my manager, they just tell me, hey, yo, be free, do what you got to do, have fun. It feels really good, honestly. That's so cool. So cool. I had goosebumps when I saw that. I yeah. thought it was awesome when they said we talked to mom and dad and they're on the way. Oh. So congratulations to all that. Now, we saw your first hit. We know you have the ball. So what do you do with the ball? Now, where's the ball? Who gets the ball? Is this a, is this a tough decision? Because I always had to know, like, did my mom get it? Did my dad get it? Does your best friend get it? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to keep out of my house, honestly, but... They they both gonna have access to it. <laughs> it gotta, yeah, it's gonna. I, I gotta I gotta keep it in the middle on that one. Smart man. So where yeah. is the ball right now? Yeah. Uh, they have it right now here because we're gonna put it in like a like a little box, and they're gonna write everything down on it. They're gonna put it really nice. Yes. I feel like, yeah, they're gonna put it in the box. I'm excited to see it. So, okay. Julio. This is the first time Intentional Talk is on at 4 o'clock. So we have the number four, and we're, our first guest of the season is number 44 in you. Now, I, I assume you're aware of all the legends who have worn that number? Yeah, that is, that is a good amount of them. And one of them was Hank Aaron. Yes. Uh, so yes. Uh, the, the, the late great legend as a baseball player and as a human being. So I, I know you tweeted this the other day. You felt like it was God's plan for you to wear the number 44 because you found out you're going to big league be, become a big leaguer on April 4th, 4-4. Mm -hmm. uh, but what initially went into picking that number? Uh, as I always said, I feel like the number picked me. That was like the first number I got as a professional. And I, I, I look at the picture from my bag one time that I was playing like instructionally, I think. I was like, oh, that number fits me pretty good. And like as the time kept passing by, I didn't get to play with it for like – Two years, I think, and now that I got, I got, I, I got the call, and like, I get the, the 44, and I was called up in the in the April 4 too. It was like 44, basically. It was it was a pretty cool moment, just kind of like see how everything unfolded right there. Mm. 
Really good stuff. Uh, all right, J-Rod, so you got your own YouTube channel and a two-part <laughs> question. We saw you on there looking at some shoes. We know you're a big shoe guy, but the second part of this question, like when you're a shoe guy, there's some stuff out there. We have the off-whites, the Cactus Jacks, the whole situation. What's your next shoe that you're looking at to buy? Uh, I don't know. I probably, I like, let me see. I like the off-whites a lot. I like the mm. off-whites a lot. I, I, have, mm -hmm. I have a few pair of them. But, mm, I don't know. I don't know. That's a tough question right now. There's, there's a lot of things that I'm looking into, honestly. And I'm gonna be honest. It, you yeah. you can get yourself in trouble buying shoes because there's so many. I know. There's, you ain't lying. I there's so much heat. That you're I like, know. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. I want that one. So just be careful. You're just you're just getting started as a big leaguer now. Um, more yeah, legends to talk <laughs> about because you've met a bunch. Okay, you've met Ken Griffey Jr. You, you've met Ichido, yes. who's one of my favorite players of all time. Uh, Jose Bautista. Who is your baseball hero, Julio? Man, there is a lot of them, honestly. And, like, as I get to know them all, like, as you, as you mentioned, Jose Bautista, Ichiro, I feel like guys like that that really became my heroes just by the way that they play the game and, like, whenever I'm around them and, like, the other, other things that they teach me, I feel like those are two of my baseball heroes, honestly. What's a lesson that you got from Ichiro? You guys have had some fun over the last couple of years in spring training. You took him deep during BP. He didn't like that very much, so he – started throwing you some <laughs> off-speed stuff, gave you nothing to hit. But what's a lesson uh, that you learned from one of the best hitters this planet has ever seen? Uh, just like being consistent, honestly. Just like even right now, he's not playing. Like he doesn't have to get ready for a season, but you can still see like the consistency that he brings and the intent he brings to everything he does. So he, he always does everything, really focused on everything. And like just by me seeing that, like he's not even playing. He's keeping that level of intensity in everything he does. And like I cannot imagine whenever he was like in his prime playing baseball like, at the highest level. No doubt. That's no so doubt. cool. He's a good, good dude, man. Funny as heck. Playing that he didn't know the yeah, English, really but he got to first too. base. He talks some smack. <laughs> <laughs> he talks some smack. I'm like, okay. Know, yeah, yeah. He knows. Uh, all right. Well, we got some rapid fire questions. I'm asking five questions. Let me know why and what comes to your head. Are you ready? Who? I'm not. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> You're gonna be <laughs> fine. <laughs> You're gonna be fine. Uh, Number one, why is the hot chocolate better in Dominican Republic than here? Oh. Uh, because they put more stuff into it. They put leche carnation. They put the uh, cinnamon. We call this clavo dulce también that they put over there. So it's like a little more, that it, a little more yeah. of a mixture over there. Okay. Yeah, it's a little more rare. Than just the water and the chocolate. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not, it's not uh, like that. It's not like that over there. This is a great question. Now, I want to know who has the better look, Robbie Ray's pants or Jesse Winker's beard? Uh, Jesse Winker's beard. <laughs> you can't squeeze into Robbie's yeah. pants? Uh, no, it's going to be kind of tight. <laughs> you just a little bit. <laughs> if the J-Rod show it, was a TV though. show, and he likes it, though. He's got those nice legs. When you got nice legs, you can wear the tight uniform. <laughs> yeah, he can do it. He can pull them off. If the J-Rod show was a TV show, who would play you as an actor? Uh, I would say A-Rod first. A-Rod? There you go. Yeah, he can. Yeah. And the yeah. rock, and the rock too. Yeah, that makes what? sense. What? That's what I'm talking that about. Sense. The rock. Yeah. yeah, definitely the rock. All right. Can you do the eyebrow? Can you do? The I'm eyebrow? gonna show you. No, I cannot do that. I'm practicing on it. Okay. I'm practicing. Keep on working. It. Sorry, Jeff. Back to you. <laughs> yeah. No, no. I'm gonna show you this picture. Who's more jacked in this picture of these three Ooh. dudes right here? We have Randy and Rosarina. My man, Adolis. Adolis Garcia, man, that's yeah, he's that's another one of the oh, he's biggest unbelievable. baseball players that I know. No, oh real, just like he trains, he trains. We train basically the same spot, and like he's one of the strongest dudes I've ever seen in my life. Honestly, playing baseball. Yeah, his arms are like the rock, no doubt about Python. it. Python. Last question, last question, last question. Fuerte, okay? Uh oh. Last question. Muy fuerte. Which interview? Which interview was better, Michael K and A Rod, 
<laughs> Steven Nelson and Kevin Millar, or Millar for let's say Primera Base. Uh, I gotta give it to you guys. Oh! Now, right now. <laughs> yeah! yeah. A thought... lot of smiles. A lot of smiles. A lot of smiles here. I like that. that well, I thought for sure you were gonna go That's with A Rod. J Rod with J Rod like. with A Rod. Oof. Now he's richer. Okay, that's what I didn't ask who was richer, Stephen. I said that's, who would have more fun. So he answered a great, great question. Yeah, nope. I, yeah, I like the fun. I like the fun. Hey, Julio, you're welcome back here anytime. <laughs> As you, you're just starting your big league career, but also, folks, keep, yes. keep in mind this is an Olympic medalist you're talking to. So put some respect on his name. Best of luck here in your number one, and we'll talk to you again soon, man. All right, thank you so much, guys, for having me here.